All right, now um, I have a character on the screen, and this is actually a character of uh, my latest animation. And I have drawn on arms um, for this character with two layers right here. Um, so the first is the right upper arm layer, um, and on that I have just drawn a oval with the draw shape tool, and drawn <coughs> uh, the upper shirt and some strokes that are basically the body hair um, and same for the right underarm layer which is also just a object drawn uh, with the draw shape tool or the add point tool and some strokes on it as the body hair um, there's just one problem and that is that um, the stroke here is visible and we to make it look better we don't want to have a stroke in front of it so what we are going to do is use a patch layer so for that we have to go on the right upper arm layer and we create a new layer and we create a patch layer now before you can create it you need to target a layer and it has to be one of the layers under the right upper arm <coughs> and in this case uh, it will be the right underarm because the right upper arm is in front of the right underarm. So if I take the transform layer tool um, and if I just make everything visible, you can see a circle appears right here. And if I move this circle right here, <coughs> you see the stroke gets invisible. So that is how uh, basically um, with a patch layer, um, when you target the right layer, the right underarm layer, um, the right underarm layer will get visible uh, in front of the right underarm, or the right upper arm. Um, <clears throat> and that is a very quick way to solve that problem. And most of the time, if I just take the bone of the right upper arm, the patch layer already moves with it. So you basically have a arm like this. And of course, you might adjust the arm a bit like you want um, that is up to you I'm just going to leave it like it is um, but anyway that's a very quick tutorial on how to use the patch layer for arms um, so yeah that is the end of this, this tutorial if you have any more questions uh, leave a comment and thanks for watching